Hey everyone, so today I have my newest weekly makeup basket, um, not always weekly, more like bi-weekly. Um, it has been a while though with the holidays. I just finished my first week back of school for the semester, so it's just kind of been a crazy time. Um, and I still have a little bit more traveling. I am going to Vegas next weekend, so um, I will be, you know, packing different things for that too. But in general, these are the things that I have been using the past two weeks. I do have some new products to share with you, some things that I'm incorporating. So let's just go ahead and jump right into it, kind of in the order that I do my makeup. Um, I first start with a couple prep things. So I put on a lip balm. Um, I ordered a set of the Sierra Bees um, organic lip balms from iHerb. They were super cheap. Um, I got a pack of eight. I think they were like four bucks. Something crazy. I mean, really. Um, and they're nice. Um, they're The first ingredient is olive oil, so they're very rich, very hydrating. I like them. This one is the cocoa butter one. So this is the one that I just keep in my desk that I'm using right now. And then I have a different lip balm that I have in my coat pocket that I use throughout the day. But this is the one I start off with, so I'm, you know, using that. And then on any blemishes I may have, I'm using the Skin Iceland Anti-Blemish Gel still. This one's almost done, though, so I need to find a different one. I just like having a clear treatment that I can put on my skin in the morning to help clear up any issues I might have. For primers, I've really just been using these two. Um, I'm using the Body Shop Tea Tree Pore Minimizer all over my face. I love this. I kind of took a break from it, but I'm so glad to be back with it. I love this product. Um, it doesn't really minimize my pores, but I feel like it just really helps keep my skin clear, and I feel like it just makes, um, it's kind of more of a lotion texture. It's not silicone at all, so if you don't like that, you might, you know, like this because it doesn't have that. But it just, you know, smooths out my skin, and I just really like it, so I've been using that again. And then in my um, T-Zone, I've been just using the smallest amount of the Becca Ever Matte um, Perfector. I do really like this. Um, I have found a way that works better for me. I have to really warm it up between my fingers, like really, or no, and then I just kind of blot it um, to the areas that I need, and that works really well. Um, so yeah, I've been enjoying that. Okay, then I go on to eyes because I like to let my primer sink in, um, and if I have any fallout, I can you know wipe it up. So for my eye primer, I'm still using my Wet n Wild one, though writing on the front wore off, but it's Take on the Day eyeshadow primer from the kind of Fergie line. I really like this stuff. So I'm using that. For my inner corner to brighten up any like darkness, I'm using the Kat Bundy Tattoo Eraser. It's just a light pink pencil. I really like it, so I just draw it on and then rub it in with my fingers, kind of, you know, warm it up and rub it in. I really like this. It makes a big difference for me. Um, and then for my cream shadow, I'm still using the Bare Minerals 5-in-1 BB Advanced Performance Cream Shadow. This is in Barely Nude, the lightest shade. I really like this. It has sunscreen in it. It's a great cream shadow. really like it. And, it, you know, it's good for, like, canceling out any colors. So for palettes, um, if you aren't aware, I am doing Pan That Palette this year. And this year I'm using the Tarte Be Magnificent. So this is the first um, makeup weekly basket, whatever, um, that I am showing this. So this is an all matte palette. If you aren't aware, I will have my Pan That Palette linked down below so you can check out, you know, what I'm using. So basically what I'm going to do is I use this every day and I use it for my brow bone highlight, my transition, my crease, my, you know, shades to set my liner, anything for my lower lash line. I, like, I use this exclusively. It's all matte in here, so I use this. And then every two weeks, I'm going to be putting in another palette or singles or stuff like that to kind of, you know, make sure I'm using all my stuff and really weeding out things that maybe I thought I liked, but I don't. So this past two weeks or so, I've been using my Makeup Geek shadows. I do have a couple of Urban Decay eyeshadows in here as well. So, I mean, I have a lot of mattes in here, so I wasn't using them, but this is what my palette looks like. Um, I have room for two more if I desire. So I've been using a lot of this one. This is Shimmer Shim Shimmer Shimmer, um, which is just a nice kind of highlight shade. I'll do swatches. Um, so yeah, it's really pretty. I like that one on my lid. Today on my lid, I have this one up here, and this is Urban Decay Scratch. So it's just a light pink, um, almost peachy champagne kind of a shade. I really like it, so that one's right there. It's just a nice shimmery shade. Um, I have also been using these two. So this is Bleached Blonde and this is Glamorous um, from Makeup Geek. So just some kind of orangey gold and a more yellow gold. Um, so there are those two. And then also um, this one down here which is Homecoming in like the outer corner um, area of my lid. So. That one is down there. That's more of a bronze. So those are the colors I've been using. I'm really glad I pulled this out. I do love this palette. I just don't reach for it enough, I don't think. So yeah, I'm really glad I got to pull this out. And I definitely will be pulling this out more this year and you'll be seeing it more. So yeah, that was really exciting. 
and I'm happy I got to do that. So next I'm going to be pulling something else out and these will, you know, they have their turn. Something else needs this turn. So anyway, moving on. For the rest of my eye stuff, I used um, a couple of eyeliners. My um, Laura Geller Ink Credible Waterproof Gel Eyeliner in Brown Eyed Girl. It's just a brown liner. I really like it. I use it um, on my tight line and on you know the top of my lash line. So love that. And then my nude one from Tarte, um, per usual that I use in my waterline. For mascara, I'm using the Tarte Gifted Mascara, which is in this wooden packaging. It's drying out pretty fast. Um, I mean, I know I use a lot of mascara, so, um, but I really like this one. I don't have any complaints about it. It does what I want it to. Maybe I just want a little bit more voluminous, but I like it. I can build it up. And then I try, I'm trying out this NYX Skinny Mascara for my lower lash line. I'm not sure how I feel about it yet, so I'm not going to say too much. For my brows, I'm using, um, today I use my NYX brow pencil just because I was running a little bit late. Um, so I've been using this, um, and I do like it, but I also am using my Anastasia Dip Brow Pomade. I do want to finish this this year, this pomade. Um, I'm about halfway, so, um, you know, this is going to be the main focus, but I do like having the pencil just kind of like for hurry. And then also um, my Tinted Brow Gel from Anastasia. So that's nice and blonde. Uh, for foundation, I kind of am mixing it up a little bit. So I'm still using my Tarte foundation. This is the Amazonian Clay Full Coverage Foundation. I have mine in the shade Neutral. I don't even know. I think it's rubbed off. Neutral something. Um, but anyway, it's a little bit too dark for me now. And I have this Tarte BB Tinted Treatment 12 Hour Primer. This is the fairest shade. It's more pink tone. It's called Fair. Um, it's the same consistency, which is kind of like a weird whipped consistency that dries down to a powder finish. It's a strange consistency, but these are the same consistency. So, wow, I've been saying that word a lot. Um, I can squeeze some of this with this and mix it and, you know, make it a better match for me. So I've been doing that. Or I've been mixing this foundation with my Urban Decay Naked. Um, these are the two foundations I have currently. So um, if I want a little bit of a lighter look, um, I will mix some of this for coverage and for color because this one's just not the best color for me um, but this one shears it out and gives it more of a I don't know just like HD look I don't even know what I'm trying to say but I've been mixing those two for concealer um, I've also been using my uh, pixie under eye brightening corrector I just have it in a different bag right now and I forgot to grab it so I've been using that and then also my NYX concealer um, except this one um, the cap broke so I can't like always um, it just cracked and it doesn't always come out like the wand's still in there so I don't know I mean I'm just gonna work with it a little bit longer but I might just go pick up a different one just because it broke but I don't know I like it a lot for my under eyes but I just am kind of disappointed that the packaging you know crapped out on me already so we'll see and then for my face I'm using the cover effects um, blemish treatment concealer and I have mine in the shade and light really like that it's just a stick um, concealer you know that twists up that kind of thing um, for my cheeks, I have started to use something a little bit different. Um, I've been mixing in, trying to use my cream blushes because I have some. Um, they're all in like a tube kind of situation. So these are from Becca. Um, I didn't use this one. I used a different one, but the color is pretty similar. These are the Becca Beach Tints. I have four of them. Um, and this one's Guava, which is more of a pink. I've been using Grapefruit, which is more of like a peach, um, but very similar in tone, like, you know, kind of darkness of color so not this one a different one again that one's in just a different bag right now so um yeah I've been putting these just dabbing them on my cheek and I'm glad I really like wearing cream blushes I just forget so that's been nice to um you know use and I also dab it on my lips a little bit for a stain so yeah um to set my concealer I've been using my Anastasia vanilla powder and then to set my um for under my eyes and then for my face concealer the banana powder and then for contour I've been using Anastasia fawn so that's my little z palette there and then for um, blush, bronzer, and highlight, I'm using all of them out of my NARS Gebra Dan palette. I'm going to finish up January um, just using this palette. And then in February, I'm going to start rotating my blushes and, you know, like I was doing before. Um, but I'm trying to blitz this month and just see how much wear I can get out of this palette. And especially because I am going to be traveling again. So anyway, um, I'm just using this one. I don't have any other blushes really to show you except for that cream one. Oh, I forgot to show these. Um, so to set my foundation, um, I've been using the Tarte um, Smooth Operator Powder. I love this. 
I love this stuff. Um, so I've been using that. Otherwise, um, days where I wasn't wearing liquid foundation, which were a few days, um, I just had initiation too for my sorority, and we're supposed to, you know, just be very minimal makeup. So I just used powder foundation. Um, this is the Cover FX powder foundation. I have mine in the shade N25. It looks very yellow, but it, you know, it looks very dark and very yellow, you know, next to me. But when I have it on the brush and I buff it in, it fits my skin really nice. So, um, yeah, I've been using this. I really do like this one. It lasts pretty long on my skin, so that's nice. And then for lip products, I've been using my NARS lipstick in the shade Dolce Vita, which is what I have on my lips right now. Um, again, the packaging like sucks on um, this one. My um, this like should go on the outside of the tube, but it doesn't. It slips off, so whatever. Anyway, um, I'm trying to finish this one up. It's just like my lips, but better kind of shade. I feel comfortable wearing this, you know, like to classes and stuff like that. Um, so yeah, I've been wearing that a lot. It doesn't last very long on my lips, so I've been reapplying a lot. And then for gloss, um, this is the one I've been keeping in my car. It's the Tarte Gloss in the shade 40 Winks. I really do like this, um, but I just, you know, it's old. I need to use it up, so that one's in my car. But I also have it in my purse sometimes, and I just reapply. I do like this a lot, though. Um, it's more of a, like, it doesn't really come off too pink. It's just kind of clear. And then to set my whole face, I've been using the Urban Decay All Nighter Makeup Setting Spray per usual. So that is all the makeup I've been wearing. I'm sorry I didn't have a couple of products. Oh, and then my Hourglass Dim Light. That is also in a different bag right now. So I don't have that to share with you. But anyway, that's everything I've been wearing. I hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know what you are switching out. Um, if you do makeup baskets on you know, a kind of regular basis, I'd love to check them out. I like doing mine every two weeks. And I also like talking about the products at the end of it so I can tell you how I used them, what I thought. And also, I want to rotate my makeup around, um, and this helps me, you know, just kind of do that. But also, if I've used it for two weeks and I don't really like it, I'm kind of at the point this year where I'm just, if I don't like it, I'm going to pass it on. And this is a good way for me to, like, you know, share that with you, like a constant declutter, if you will. So this time I didn't have anything I want to move on, except maybe the um, NYX concealer, just because the packaging broke, I might need to pick up a different one. But otherwise, I'm really happy with everything that I used this past week. So... Anyway, I hope you guys are having a great day. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys in my next video.